What is up, heroes? This is Minade Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Fatal Frame Maiden of Blackwater Blind. In the last episode, the eighth drop, we played as Van Hojo and sort of a Five Nights at Freddy's esque chapter where we looked at surveillance cameras to check in on a couple people, um, namely Yuri and Miu, and investigate some of the paranormal events that were taking place as we watched over them. And now we're about to start the ninth drop where we're actually going to play as Miu Hinasaki searching after Yuri Kosakata, who disappeared in the middle of the night, under Ren's watch, of course. And Ruby is also missing, but I, you know, it doesn't seem like that's going to be an objective of this particular drop. So Yuri has vanished from the shop. Miyu takes the camera obscura and heads to Manikami to search for her. Lovely. Let's give it a go. The Sacred Casket. Interesting. I'm pretty sure that's the the casket, that box where we fought the Maiden of Black Water in the previous drop. Miu wakes up to discover that Yuri has been taken to Mount Hikami. She borrows Yuri's camera obscura and heads for the mountain, against Ren's advice. She hopes not only to find Yuri, but some clues to her mother's whereabouts as well. Okay. To be expected. Notably though, we haven't used Miu before, right? So I wonder what her specific lenses or powers are going to be. And I, sh I should probably upgrade them as soon as I can. I can sense that Yuri headed for the mountain. If I use the camera obscura, I might be able to save her. And I may find clues as to where my mother is. Okay. So we're on this vehicle here. Okay, naturally the trace is headed up that way. Anything down here? Doesn't seem so, and I don't really want to travel elsewhere for the time being, so we'll just head on up here. Let's check the camera obscura real quick. I wonder, actually, because it technically is Yuri's camera, I wonder if it has all the same enhancements and lenses. It looks like it does, which is perfect, because that's the one I've been enjoying more. I think for the time being, I'll save up for another output upgrade. The ghosts seem to have quite a bit of health now, and they're taking quite a few shots to actually take down. So that'll be my next priority. The track disappears in the mist and I can't make anything out. No, you can't. Also, it's not raining this time around. So the environment is very different. I was like, it's so quiet. And I think it's just because it hasn't been raining. Oh, hello there. What the? The camera obscura. If Yudi can use it, so can I. Tutorial slow motion shots. Hold down the shutter button, R2, to slow down ghosts. This consumes spirit power. When you let go of R2 or run out of spirit power, all targeted ghosts will take damage. Um, I probably need to be in the camera, right? Can I use it? Camera, there we go. Interesting. And so what's also neat is that that sort of... Huh, where did this other ghost go? Okay, so we'll back up um, so they can kind of overlap and everything. But... Wait, what? Are you dead? I guess so. Wait, what? Was the whole point of that that it was like a fake fatal glance or something? Someone's gonna have to explain that one to me. Are you actually dead this time? That was kind of odd, but... Oh, we're getting attacked. Oh, wait, what? There are two more? Alright, so we'll do the slow-mo again. But it seems like each like level of... Um... Sorry, each like degree of slowdown can be something that counts as like a target. Aw oh, man, I want to get the Fatal Glance! Oh, so that didn't work out. I tried to get the Fatal Glance after dodging, and fortunately, we were unable to do so. Oh, and there's one of those curse things. Get out of the way, Mew! Get out of the way! Alright, back up the camera obscura. Honestly, should probably take advantage of that health shot now. Aw oh, man, and I did it while that was off screen. That was a pretty strong attack. You're not dead yet? Oh no, you are, okay. I was gonna say, I was running towards you to get that last fatal glance, but... 
we at least have the ability to heal with our attacks now, which is a, a godsend for me. So there were quite a few ghosts there, actually. I really like the slow motion. It's really quite neat. What are we going to find in here? Oh, I should check to make sure I'm on 7 film. What film am I using? <clears throat> I knew it! It would be the Type 14. Gosh darn it, I, I wish it would just start me on the Type 7. Or even if it was like a, a setting that I could change, so the default is Type 7. I don't know why... There could there I would think that there was some sort of conscious decision to make it default type 14. I can't imagine what the rationale would be. Maybe maybe those of you in the comments have a better understanding than I do. But either way, we've collected some items. And we are on our way. Okay. We still can't go in here, I don't think. Oh, maybe we're finally explaining or exploring that cave area in the tunnel. You guys remember that? Is there an item over here? Yeah, some film. What? Ah, oh, come on! I thought I let go in time. I guess not. At the very least, what's kind of neat is we're getting a chance to see all of Mew's animations and interactions with the environment. We got a glimpse, obviously, at the beginning of the game, but we were only controlling her for a few minutes, realistically. So now we actually get to genuinely play as her. So let's head off in this direction. A little stutter there with loading, but... The environment is still nice, even when there's no rain. To the Shrine of the Ephemeral. That music is not very endearing, that's certain. Alright, so we're probably going to get attacked here. We've got to go that way, as to be expected. But just like the last time we were told we had to go that way, we're going to venture over here for the sake of exploration. Find those items. Capture those ghosts. Really? Again? I must be off my game today, guys. It's alright. I do feel less stressed, right? Less pressure when playing and knowing that I have that healing lens. Alright, let's see. Which way? We have explored this area before, so I can utilize the map. That's actually a really nice touch, that the map kind of carries over. So, being a little bit, you know, adventurous with your exploration in one chapter, rewards future exploration later on. You can do that exploration more efficiently because you've taken that, uh, you know, gutsy step earlier on. So you can be a little bit quicker, a little bit more confident as you explore areas. What are we going to find over here? Ah, that's right, this little area. Yuri didn't come this way. I need to follow her trace. Interesting. I think the last time we saw this as Yuri, we we weren't given that option. Right? I think we were told what it is, or that there was air coming from it, but it wasn't like a, hey, you can't actually go this way. We'll keep running over here. I don't anticipate we'll find much, but... We'll probably be told we just can't come this way. Yeah, of course. But hey, now we know, right? We can say with confidence we explored this area, and we picked up the Type-0 film, which was really the reward here. Not that we ever use it, but it counts for quite a few points, so we take those. I wonder how much the time actually plays a role in the score system. I'm sure later on I'll eventually look up a system, because there's probably a good amount of optimization in terms of the score with regards to should I take the time to find these items or not. So there's Yuri heading over that way. So we'll, we'll head there in just a second. I do want to see what's at the top of these stairs though. What a roll reversal. 
we came here to the Shrine of the Ephemeral as Yuri to save Miyu from uh, that casket. Sure enough, we're back. But this time, Yuri's the one who needs the saving. So let's see what we can find in this. Oh, hello there. No, I didn't kill anyone. Oh, it's you again, our friend. Oops. So, we can actually use our slowdown here, which is pretty nice. Well, actually wasn't all that nice, if I'm honest. That's because he basically disappeared. We slowed him down. We didn't prevent him from doing his whole teleportation idea, though. Oh, now I remember. There's there's a specific way to get the fatal glance with this guy. I don't actually remember what it is. I know it's been commented on. Sorry. Oh, what? So, a couple things. First of which, that did a ton of damage. So we're going to use an herbal medicine. And once we do get more spirit power, we're going to try to heal as quickly as we can. Dodge. Oh, really? <sighs> I thought I I thought I hit it. I don't know if it's it's probably probably just me. But it feels like there's a little bit of a delay when using R2 to take a picture with Mio. And I think it's because the game needs to determine that you're not holding down the trigger first. Okay. Come on, I'm ready? Yeah. There's totally some sort of delay. Not that it's the end of the world, but... I want to build up that spirit power. I'm ready for you. Not able to get many, like, fatal frames here. Oh, here's my chance. Seriously? Yeah, so I, I'm definitely, oh man, I'm definitely hitting R2 in time for these. Um, it just means that I guess we won't, we have even less time to, to properly react to attacks, which is kind of a shame. Which means I'll probably have to focus more on dodging than actually getting fatal frames. shutter chance there. What's kind of nice is we're, we're able to back him off a little bit, right? One of the one of the difficulties with some of these fights is not having enough space, right? What the heck? I'm getting, like, random prompts to dodge. I don't know if you guys can see that, but, like, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's back up here. We have a little bit more space. I've got enough for a healing shot, so I'll go for that real quick. Just get a little bit of HP back. Oh no, we had to use one of our mirror sounds. All right, guys, I'm um, I'm actually just gonna restart. <laughs> I'm actually totally just gonna restart. Ah. <sighs> All right, so we are back. It actually only took me like five minutes to get back here, which is nice. And we did so without taking any damage, so we're in a little bit of a better spot than before. Um, friend, waiting for our fiery friend to show up again. I don't know about that whole I didn't kill anyone part. Got fatal frame going. And look how much time we have in this fatal frame. That's a lot. Uh, that's where the uh, increased range would have been helpful, right? I'm just going to back up a little bit and really try and give myself a lot of time here. Oh man. Try to get that shutter chance, but... I guess it was not meant to be. Actually, while well, I've got a moment... I am going to strategically back up, because I know that I'm eventually going to get a Shutter Chance, and it's not going to work out well when I really want to get the Fatal Glance for this guy. And I'm not able to, because 
He goes far off into the trees. Second stab. Oh, we didn't get the shoulder chance, but that's alright. Here we go, come on. Seriously? It was just outside when I wanted to? There we go. That was a strong one, too, if you ask me. How much health you got left? That's right, I can check. Can't I? Oh, you're, you're only about halfway? Jeez. Second stab? Nope. So it's, it's actually uh, interesting. So I waited, and I was waiting for a potential stab or... Oh, is he doing that whole invisible deal? He is. I missed my chance again. I should really just hold the camera vertical. Vertically, shouldn't I? What I was going to say is I can use slow-mo, and that'll get me a nice shutter chance. Because each, like, different level counts as another target, which is really helpful. In the meantime, I'll get up close, get a couple attacks, and then I'll start backing up to give myself some space. You get the fatal frame? No, we didn't, unfortunately. Come on, shutter chance. Nice, and a good one, too. Is he directly behind me? He is. Good, we want to keep him on this vertical, not vertical, just straight pathway. I want to be able to lock onto him to see how much health he's got. Not a lot left. Oh, no! I wasted spirit power doing that. Let's see, we should be able to get a shutter chance. No, we didn't. There we go. That should do it, that should do it. We'll wait just to be safe. Oh! We got the picture of him. So now we can get the shutter chance, I think. Yes, that's what was mentioned in the previous comment. Thank you to that uh, commenter who did that. It's that while he's running through with fire, you need to hit him with your camera once more, and then you can get his Fatal Glance. So that battle went a lot better. And I think the idea is, I know I'm not going to be able to react with a Fatal Frame as much as I like to, personally, and so I should just play a little bit more defensively with Mew and maintain space. Sounds like the Forbidden Valley is the place to go. It's a pretty men menacing name. Because, yeah, I really do like that each character has their unique playstyle and special attacks and everything. Um, though none of them are perfect. Oh, is this the water area? It is. Okay. Let's explore. Again, what's nice is we've already mapped out the entirety of this area, right? So I can be quite thorough. We might get some of those floating maidens that attack us. And I remember when we were here last too, what was helpful was being able to go to some of the more open areas. Can we interact with that? No. Man, these girls have so much waiting to do in this game, right? Like, look at how high that water is. It's above her thigh highs. Is this a ghost? Did I seriously not get it? I swear I had my camera up and ready before it went away. <sighs> That's alright. Miku Hinasaki standing at a grave. I was gonna say, that doesn't look like Yuri to me. Miku Hinasaki. Oh, that's probably... That's probably Mew's sister. Do we want to go this way for now? Let's see where the tracing is taking us. I don't see the tracing. Which is kind of odd. It makes me think that it's actually on the path, like, over here. Yeah, I don't know. We have more of these red flowers. Dense brush is blocking the way. I won't be able to get through, but that definitely was my mother. She's been here. Oh, Miku Hinasaki is her mother. Interesting. 
Note from Miku 1. There's a scrap of paper on the ground. Did my mother leave this? I have to go. I'm so sorry. Forgive me. Huh. I wonder what's down this way. Anyway, right now I need to find Yuri. She may know something that will help me. So I won't be surprised if we make our way back here later on. Let's see what we can find. Do I want to go to the right? Let's do it. More dead ends to explore this way. And the completionist in me who wants to pick up every item we can. Oh, hello there. Darn it. Did we get it? Nope. Nope, still no. I broke free for the time being, which is nice, but... Man, the sound design in this game is so nice. The noises the monsters make and everything are really top tier. I tried to react again. That was not a good idea. So we've built a little bit of space, which is nice. Where are you now? We're gonna aim this way for the shutter chance, and we just missed the shutter chance completely. Lovely, lovely. There we go. Oh, what? I thought you'd at least be stunned from the shutter chance, but geez, you, you came right at me. utilize some of the, the spirit power I have for a healing shot. You are like right on me, so we are going to run over this way. Something you guys probably can't get a feel for, but uh, they do a really good job with the rumble in this game, which is like a pretty funny thing, you know, to be, you know, excelling at, I guess. Alright, so this last one will probably be it. Fatal frame. Yeah. So let's go and see if we can get that fatal glance. We can. Lovely. We haven't been treated to a fatal glance cutscene in quite some time, have we? So we were still coming up this way. Weren't we? This is where that map is coming in handy. Now, what was that made in guarding? Any items over this way? Doesn't seem so, unfortunately. Hmm, what about on the ground here? Is that an item? Or a ghost? I don't know. A beautiful cherry blossom tree is in bloom, surrounded by small gravestones. People must be buried here. Yeah, I'm not sure if... Oh, there's a ghost? I guess that's a thing. I'm surprised we actually dodged that without hitting the, uh, the X button to get a proper dodge in. Shutter chance. We've got max spear power. Should probably use the slow-mo. Yeah, I like the slow-mo feature. I think my only suggestion would be making it a different button than, um, what's it called? Is there a way to get full five in here? No? I guess not. A different button than the... Sorry, I keep getting interrupted in my thoughts. But a different button than the camera, like regular fire attack, because then they wouldn't have to introduce the, the question of, is this person trying to shoot? Like a, an actual shot? Or are they trying to start slow-mo? And that's what necessitates the little bit of delay. Where are you? I like, I can't see this ghost. Oh my, you are really close. Almost seemingly out of nowhere. 
Slow-mo. We should get a whole bunch of targets in here. That was a good one. Still got a decent amount of health left. Did I get it? No, I didn't get the shutter chance. Come on! Oh! Seriously? Just want to get some spirit power so I can heal a little bit too. What? Keep teleporting all over the place. Alright, so we'll run out of the way. At least we have a little bit more mobility on land. That's always helpful. Where did you teleport to? You are over here. Let's lock on and get some health back. That wasn't enough to finish her off. Interesting. Because I feel like we're getting pretty close. There we go. I wonder if each of these enemies has a unique fatal glance, but the individual enemy shows up multiple times across multiple chapters. And so you do have a number of opportunities to actually get that fatal glance. If so, that would be very much appreciated. And that might be why we haven't seen one in quite some time, because we haven't encountered a new type of enemy yet. Keep on trudging along. But yeah, that uh, that output <laughs> upgrade is looking pretty nice now that it's taking quite some time to get rid of these ghosty ghosts. Let's see if we can do that upgrade now. We are close, but still not quite there. We need another 9,000. See what items are over here. Some more film. Type 90 film. Getting some really strong stuff. I guess that's another aspect I haven't really talked about much, right? I'm talking about how much I'd like the output upgrade and everything, but I really am only using Type 7 film. <laughs> and, oh, now that I think about it, I wonder if it's more optimal in terms of score to use some of the stronger films for the sake of being able to move through the level more quickly. Hmm. Oh, hello there. Oh, it's one of these guys again. Oh, hello there. We did get, oh, we did get a fatal frame. Okay, I was like, how did I not get a fatal frame there? One of the cursed things. Those are what I least look for. They require using the purifying ember. I don't like having to do that. Oh, fatal frame, please. What? I got the fatal frame, but I still got attacked? Not a fan, not a fan. Oh, shoot. This is, uh, not good. Good law on HP. This thing is just chilling there. We'll heal a little bit with that. And shutter chance. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. Get him to back off a little bit. Oh, he's dead. Can we get the glance? We can. Wow, Mew. Uh, <laughs> rain soaked, or just water soaked in general, Mew is um, part of an explanation for why the game is uh, <laughs> M rated. <laughs> Let's see. I'm getting icons on screen for items. Let's find them. Some herbal medicine. I'm on the fence about whether or not I want to use an herbal medicine right now. Just because we are kind of low HP, right? I probably should, honestly. Right? The risk I run if I don't use the herbal medicine is that I end up using the mirror stone. And the mirror stone is worth far more points than the herbal medicine that I potentially save, right? There were two icons over here. Where is the second... Was there a ghost that I missed? 
Is that the case? There might have been a ghost. I just didn't manage to get a picture of. But I really don't know. Do we want to go this way? Oh, now we're just walking backwards, I think. And yeah, just to be safe, I think I did explore this area over here. Yeah, I did. Okay, cool. Hmm. So I wonder where that item went. We'll keep moving forward and hopefully get an icon for it again soon. Oh, hello. I guess that's right. It's the more like wet we are and in water, did we get it? That was a very interesting fatal frame. Look at the blood on screen everything. That is interesting. I don't think we've been in the camera before when we've been on such low health. And but that must be the the equivalent of the low health effect while you're in the camera. Or are we just tainted or what's going on? Huh. That's pretty neat though. Oh, we didn't get the shutter chance. And now we're about to get attacked. There's the shutter chance. Good. Oh, hello. We took a little bit of an HP photograph there. Another one. Trying to heal up a little bit while I can. Shutter chance, come on, come on. You guys can hear each of my attempts. It's kind of funny. Wow, we really stunned this thing. I wonder how much HP she has left. Oh, there's the answer. Not a lot. <laughs> Not a lot. And so, naturally, we miss out on that fatal glance. Again, not the end of the world, though. Assuming they are not just unique, to, or they're just unique to certain enemy types, right? Okay. Last couple little areas to explore. Doesn't look like there's an item over here. So we're good from that end. And what about over here? Looks like there's an item. Some sacred water. Looks to be the case. We haven't actually used a sacred water yet in this entire playthrough, have we? I don't know if there's... I mean, it doesn't look like there's animation for using any of the items, so it's probably not anything special to use sacred water, but it is interesting just been kind of relying on herbal medicines and purifying embers when needed. Ah, oh, that's a pretty bad picture, but Yuriko's got to heading to Twilight Peak. Yeah, so she's totally going back to- oh, shoot! That was, um, unexpected. I mean, here we are, Mew, right? The character who's not well designed for reacting to attacks and getting fatal frames that way. guys came out. Want to get rid of that while we can. Nice healing shot and a shutter chance there. That's some good stuff. Where? Where is this guy? Ah, oh, darn it. Oh, I hit X too early, but I think we avoided it for the most part. Yeah? No, I don't think so. It's going to be difficult to... Oh, we still got quite a bit of health to work through, though. Darn it. We're killing it, guys. We're killing it. Alright, alright. Back into the camera. It's a little bit, um... What's it called? Disorienting. If you exit the camera too early, you're anticipating the dodge, you know? And so you hit X, and then you are out of the camera. Where'd you go? You're gonna attack me in just a second, I'm sure. Alright. Let's build some space. See the curse. Oh, we got a lot in there. Are you dead? You are dead. Okay. So unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get this fatal glance, which is, as I mentioned, unfortunate. But I doubt it's the end of the world. 
did we go this way? I think we did before as Yuri. So let's open this and see what we find. Yeah, we totally did come this way. I do remember these, uh, these doors here. And then we walk through and there's kind of like the gray mountainish area with the pinwheels and everything. We saw the kids here. I wonder if we'll see them again. We will. The question is, are they... Oh, they're enemies this time. Okay. Oh, all three of them are here. Let's do slow-mo. Oh, this will be big. Look at that shutter chance. We maxed out the gauge. That was awesome. Let's see if we can get another three attack in. And we have max spirit power again. Awesome. So what I'm going to do is, is back up so I'm in a more centralized area. We can actually get all three of them in a shutter chance. One huge shutter chance. Come on, there's only one more of you. Line up. Line up. Darn it. Dodge, dodge, dodge! I'm hitting X! I hit X to dodge, but obviously it didn't work out super well. I just want to get this triple kill. Oh, look, you are, like, possessed. That's, uh, not very good for us. They overlap there. I wonder if they'll keep running around in a circle and we'll overlap again. Let's see. Almost. Nope. Here we go, here we go, here's my time. Oh, this is gonna be a big attack. Nice. Are they dead? Yeah. Let's get these fatal glances. Probably gonna miss out on one of them, unfortunately, just due to the nature of getting all three at the same time. But we'll take what we can get. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, just barely missed that last one. But dang, the the triple kill. Pretty happy with that one. And now we have a bunch of spirit power as well. So I think I'm gonna try and prioritize using some of those healing attacks in our future encounters, because we all know that that's not the only battle we're going to face on this Twilight Peak. Let's see, anything of in- we know that the casket's over that way, so naturally we're going to explore every other area we can think of. And see what items we find. What's pretty neat about this slow-mo is that you restore some spirit power afterwards, so if you get a really solid slow-motion shot, you can kind of put yourself into another one, right? You can set yourself up for even more of it. Where's... There's something. I don't know what. But there is something up here, I guess. Why did it show up in the camera, but not... here? Hmm. Maybe it's inside the building. Oh no, it's around back. Type zero, that's right, more type zero film. I wonder if that's all there is to find over here. We can open this. And there are the creepy dolls. <laughs> Nothing's changed in that regard. All right, we'll head back this way then. I'm trying to think, where did we fight? It was it was over here, right? So I think before we head over this way and essentially find Yuri, I'm sure yeah, we can probably go to this branch and then turn left without triggering a, a cutscene of some sort. So we can explore the beach area and everything, find some items. You guys know the drill by now. Although last time we explored the beach, we really didn't find much, did we? What are we fighting? 
I don't see a ghost. What are we fighting? Because I don't see a ghost. There you are. Thank you so much for finally showing yourself. Where are you? Okay. There you are. This dancing animation is different from before. Get some good damage that way. Good dodge. Healing shot. Uh, we're cornered a little bit. There are a whole bunch of those spirit things, so I'm going to try and get a shutter chance here. If I can move out of the way. Oh, and they just went back. What was I getting stuck on? Did we get the fatal frame? We did, which is good. But, yeah, clearly my environment is not my friend right now. Okay. There should be... No, not quite enough. It's not the end of the world, though. Some more of those spirit things should be showing up. Get a nice shutter chance in there. Where is a better place to fight this thing? We're gonna move over this way just for more space to work with because we were getting trapped in those rocks and it was not working out very well. Where are you? There you are. I think you still got a decent amount of health left. What's interesting is they usually attack, or she likes to attack after I. Oh! That's that, like, spirit attack, right? Not the spirit, like, the curse one. We got a fatal frame. We weren't able to really do much with it, though, were we? Where? Where is she? There she is. There she is. A little bit of spirit power. We can get another healing shot off in just a second. Perfect. Wanted to get both of those little guys in there. Oh no! I tried to dodge, as usual. But, alas, here we are with our purifying embers. Um, come on, come on. Shutter chance. Nope, not quite. Missed it by just a little bit. That was a good one, though. Are you dead? Yes, you are. Give me that sweet, sweet fatal glance. And what's this area over here? I do remember looking at this. Steam rises from the surface of the red-tinged water. It looks just like a pool of blood. This must have been a popular tourist destination. Yeah, I saw the red tinge and I was like, what is going on over here? That can't... that can't be normal. Anything over this way? Hot steam rises from cracks between the yellowed rocks. The air nearby is hot and filled with the stench of sulfur. Okay. We'll head onwards towards the beach. I doubt we'll be alone on the beach. Oh, it's Yuri. Heading off towards the, the toy in the back. Um... Oh! Wait, what? No! No, I don't want to progress the story! We missed something! Where we fought the, uh... Maiden of Blackwater last drop. Certainly. Uh-oh. This water is bad news. Beauty is so close. You can do it, Mew.
なたも勝手に行かないで Uh oh, we know what that means. That's her. She's too powerful. Even the camera obscura does nothing. We have to run. Off we go. To the shore, hopefully. At the very least, we were somewhat oriented this time around, so we weren't just running around in the water forever. Oh, hello there. Are you gonna follow me onto the beach too? Seems like it. Oh, hello there. So we're getting attacked in a few different ways. Um, what I wanted to do was run over this way so that we could explore that area <laughs> um, where the casket was because I'm a glutton for punishment and cornering myself with the Maiden of Black Water but I don't find anything which is um, funny given that I went so far out of my way to actually make it there so I guess we're running. I don't know. I don't know where Yuri went, but um, to each their own, I guess. <laughs> it is kind of comical that we went all this way to rescue her, and now it's like we're just kind of running on our own. Like, all right, well, um, I'll see you at the bottom. Oh, you were very close. Oh, seriously? No, 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 no. Get out of there. We literally used a mirror stone at the last second. Open the door. Open the door. I swear, we just used a mirror stone at the last second. Escape Mount Hikami. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm down. I'm trying. Let me check my items. I'm gonna be, I'm so upset if we use that mirror stone. Yeah, we don't have the mirror stone anymore. That, it's so frustrating. We were at near health. That seems to make, like, zero sense to me. That it's like a granted, like, oh. She appeared right in front of you, a narrow area. Can't turn around fast enough. Happy to help, Yuri. Happy to help. Come on down. <laughs> um, but, ah, oh, that's so frustrating. You can go through the whole chapter, do so well, be set up for success, and then at the last second, lose something super valuable like a mirror stone. I mean, it's not like this is Super Meat Boy, right? Where you have an incredible degree of agility moving around with your character. It's so such a strong punishment. Sad. I have nothing to lose, so I have nothing to fear. As Yuri waded into the mist over the Lake of the Departed, she was stopped by Mew. The distance between the girls seemed to narrow, losing their parents at a young age and being able to see into the souls of others. The girls have more in common than they may have first realized. And now they're even, they've saved each other, and we gained a little more insight into Yuri's dark past as well, and how Hisoka saved her in that moment. Yuri still hasn't found Hisoka, while Miyu still searches for her mother, Miku. The eerie dark figure that appeared at the lake may just hold all the answers, but why does she keep calling out to Yuri? Yeah, who is she? And why is she talking about falling alone, right? <laughs> we still got an S+, which is lovely. Um, we don't have the Mirror Stone, which I think would have been another 10,000 points we could use to upgrade our stuff, which is which would have been nice, but I'm shocked we actually got an S-plus there. 
How much is that Type 0 film worth? Quite a bit. The Type 90 film, Type 14, all that jazz. Awesome. And then what do we have coming up next? I'm eager to see. The 10th drop. Find Rui Kagamiya. Okay, so we're going to be playing as Ren again, and we're finally searching for Rui, who also got dragged out of the antique store at the same time Yuri did. And I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm not too optimistic about Rui. I feel like they're the, I don't know, like little sibling type of character. And in this sort of setting, I feel like they're going to be one of the first to go. So I don't know. I, I, I hope she does all right. <laughs> That's all I can say. I feel like any girl is getting close to Mount Hikami. It's just, it's not a good look. So <laughs> we'll see what happens, of course, in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was a fun chapter. Um, I really enjoy playing as Mew overall. Um, I think the slow-mo is really cool. I've already voiced my concerns with regards to um, reactions and sort of the, the delay with using R2 to take that camera shot. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm eager to see or get back to Ren. Unfortunately, we won't be able to upgrade our, our Yuri camera for quite some time in terms of output, but that'll be the next thing to do. And it's crazy. Look at that episode percent. It's only 40%. Is there... Are there really like 25 different episodes in this game? That would be that would be pretty cool. But anyways, until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.